वेलकम टू अ लाइफ ऑफ प्योरिटी यू आर वॉचिंग सतवा चैनल नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ सतवा टॉकिंग अबाउट द कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडिया वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ऑफ द इंडियन कल्चरल डाइट इज द रिचुअल ऑफ फास्टिंग वन ऑफ द सीजन वेन वी ऑल फास्ट टूगेदर इज द श्रावण महीना और द नवरात्रि एंड द वन थिंग दैट इज कॉमन इन ऑल द फास्टिंग डाइट्स इज साबुदाना that is sago today we are looking into a dahi sabudana recipe which can be eaten during a fast and it also happens to be a very nutritious flavorsome and really really light on your stomach snack so let's dive into the recipe so we begin with putting a mud pot on the heat and while this is heating up i have about half a cup of sago or sabudana and i'm going to be dry roasting them till they start to pop like popcorn So now that the sabudana is nicely roasted we'll allow it to cool down a little bit and meanwhile let's prepare the curd water so i have about 1 cup of curd here i'm going to take it into a bowl now to the curd i have added about 1/4 cup of water and now i'm going to whisk it into a nice smooth chaas type consistency Dahi and sabudana are a really delicious combination. So even if you're having sabudana vada or sabudana khichdi, dahi chutney or like a little dollop of dahi on top tastes really beautiful. So imagine if the sabudana is soaked in dahi, how delicious would that taste? That's exactly what we are doing today. So now this roasted sabudana will be poured into this chaas, this thin uh, watery curd mixture that we have. But first, I'm going to add about One fourth teaspoon of khansari sugar. You can even take khadi sakar, khansari sugar, brown sugar, jaggery if you would like. Any kind of natural sweetener that you would prefer. And to this, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. And then whisk it again. and now to this let's add in the roasted sabudana you will hear the roasted sabudana sizzle while it's absorbing all the chaas and that's when you mix the whole thing and now we're going to put this sabudana soaked into the chaas or the curd water and keep it aside for about 2 hours and allow it to swell up about double the size and until then we will keep it covered for about 2 hours or maybe a little more it depends if it's soaked up all the liquid around it and that's when we do the tempering and prepare it so you can make this dish in advance maybe make it in the night and keep it soaked in the fridge and remove it in the morning and temper it and there you have a fantastic sabudana breakfast soaked in dahi really flavorsome ready So now we're going to wait and come back to this in 2 hours. So now about after 2 hours this is how our sabudana looks. It's nice and swelled up. It's soaked in all the dahi and now we're going to temper it. So I have a mud pot on the heat and to this I'm going to add about 1 or 2 teaspoons of ghee as you like and allow the ghee to heat. And now to this I'm going to add a little cumin seeds we'll take one green chili and chop it really fine and now we will add these green chilies to the tempering and now the tempering is ready so let's pour it into the curd soaked sabudana And now after pouring in the tempering let's give it a little mix. Meanwhile I've put the mud pot again back to the heat and we will be roasting some peanuts to garnish this dahi soaked sabudana. We'll roast the peanuts a little bit and then crush them up. I'm going to plate this out. To 
the peanuts are getting covered with the ghee which is really okay you can dry roast the peanuts so just use up all the ghee that's already in the mud pot so the peanuts are nice and roasted they've changed the color and they smell really nice so we're going to pour them out into a mortar and pestle i'd like to roughly grind them so that i can get a little bit of the crunch and there we go crushed roasted peanuts are ready let's garnish the dish up and there we go our dahi soaked sabudana tempered with delicious spices and topped with roast peanuts is ready